All right, show of hands. How many of y'all are just excited to talk about ethics? Well, I can't really see your hands. I'm going to take the assumption that, well, you're not very stoked. I don't blame you. Ethics is not a very magical or entertaining subject. But for our profession, it's pretty important. So, today we're going to be talking about the Code of Ethics from the National Society of Professional Engineers. I've segmented our presentation today into three main sections. And first, we're going to go ahead and cover well, who is the National Society of Professional Engineers. They're a conglomerate. Um, you can see the picture of their headquarters here. And their vision is a world where the public can be confident that the engineering decisions are made by qualified and ethical professionals. So, we're founded in 1934. Um, it's a good segue into what our main subject is, speaking of ethics. The Code of Ethics, a paper that they've made. And it comes in, well, there are three main sections to this paper. And you can see the whole paper here. But for the sake of our presentation, we're only going to be focusing on this one right here. Section 3, Professional Obligations. Engineers shall be guided in their relations at the highest standards of honesty and integrity. Now, I could read all the different micro sections here, but, well, I think it'd be better to go ahead and talk about this in the form of a story, an antidote that I learned about while forming these slides. So, for our story, we've got a gentleman. His, his name is Bobbert, Bobbert B, the civil engineer. Now, he's pretty proficient and he's been in the industry for quite some time. In fact, actually, he's taken on two major projects at the current moment. One was a highway revitalization project. He's very passionate about it. He's got a really good team and he believes in it. Now, unfortunately, the other one's kind of a burden on him. He is a project manager of the sequel to the Golden Gate Bridge, the Golden Ur Gate Bridge. And to be quite honest, he doesn't really think it's a very feasible project, or really one that has any chance of fruition. So, he's kind of stuck with it. Now, one day, he's talking to some clients, some potential financiers of the project, and, well, he kind of falsifies some information by underpaying the expenses that are going to go into such an edifice of a project. He unfortunately distorted the facts and he misled clients into believing the project would be successful. Now, our Bobbert here, he's just going to keep on going and making mistakes. He's thinking, how can I get out of this project? How can I get my name removed? from this burden of mine. And, well, he gets an idea. Well, why don't I have somebody take my position? He'll remove himself, and when he knows that this project will crash and burn, somebody else will be to blame. And uh, we're gonna call our guy Dobbert D. Dingus, or Dobbert D. Dingus. He doesn't know what's gonna happen to him, and he makes an agreement with Bobbert to take on the project. And he's not really aware that, well, this project's fairly doomed. He hired Dumbledee Dingus at the detriment of his work, and he misled the poor dude into a really doomed project. And um, as you can see here, it's another set of our code that he has violated. And you know, Bobber Bobber just becomes a terrible person, honestly. He starts going around promoting his other work to clients, uh, prioritizing fan uh, financing this one as opposed to his other one. It, you know what? Okay, no. At this point, Bobbert's just racist. He's uh, he's a bully. He he kind of he impresses his fellow co-workers. He's just an incarnate of evil at this point. Oh yeah, he he violates some more sections here. What do we what do we got here? Um, he has no integrity, and he exhibits discriminatory behavior. Yeah, that's what a you know, what a downer of an antidote. A yeah, really really harsh one, but. It, I hope it conveys the fact that, well, you know, don't be a Bobbert B, right? Uphold the integrity of the engineering profession and take into consideration the code of ethics that the National Society of Professional Engineers has set up. And, and well, I hope that was an entertaining enough story that you could carry something home with you today. Here are my, all of my references, but a lot. And well, hope you enjoyed.